Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Iman. It has been so long since I've sat down in this chair in front of this camera. This is probably the longest break I've ever taken off of YouTube. Honestly, all I can say is that everything that's been happening in the world just took a toll on me. You guys, I needed to take a break. I needed to take a step back and I did. But now, finally, for the first time in months, I am feeling creative, I'm feeling inspired, I'm feeling excited and optimistic, <laughs> which hasn't been the situation for a long time. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna film a video and I'm gonna just talk to you guys and tell you everything that's been going on and just touch base with you guys again because honestly, I miss this so much and I'm so happy to be feeling inspired again so I can film and connect with you guys. This is the easiest makeup ever. Anyone can do this look. Anyone, anyone can do this look and it's only a couple of steps. So I'm gonna show you some new products that I discovered that I really love and some oldies but goodies as well. All right guys, let's get into this makeup. Okay, so good news you guys. I filmed a full hair tutorial because I know you guys were asking about my hair. So I filmed a full look showing you guys what I did, the color, how I style it and all that good stuff. All right, first product we are going to get into is primer and I am using a go-to. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Light Primer. I'm also using a new foundation. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Matte Foundation. So there's the original Born This Way formula and then they came out with this new matte formula which I have been loving because it's matte but it feels super comfortable and super creamy on the skin. It looks beautiful on this has been my go-to foundation for the last month or two i love it i recommend it if you guys try it out make sure you let me know i'd love to hear your feedback all right moving on to concealer i'm just going to a tried and true this is the laura mercier flawless fusion concealer and i have been loving doing this recently where i wet my beauty blender with um, a setting spray instead of water and use that to blend out the concealer and it's been working amazing and it really sets your concealer and it makes it just hold way better. I am using the Maybelline Fit Me Powder, one of my, another favorite. I've been using this powder all summer, you guys. If you're looking for a great powder, super affordable drugstore product, works amazing, makes your look, skin look super smooth, sets your makeup, this is the one I recommend. I love it. Time to bronze up the skin. I'm using another favorite, the Kosas Bronzer. This is newer. They just came out with it in the summertime. I love the tone. It looks so pretty on and I'm bronzing all over because my face is definitely a lot lighter than my body. So make sure if you are tanning your body to make your face match. For blush, I'm using my Catrice Time Zimon Cheeky Blush Palette. If you guys are still interested, these are still available at Ulta and Shoppers Drug Mart in Canada. These palettes are the best because they're just so easy to use the colors are amazing especially this blush palette it has the perfect colors for blush for summer and it looks good on everyone's skin tone so this is definitely a must try as well i'm slightly filling in my brows with a little bit of brow powder this is from dior i've been like really like trying to keep my brows a bit more natural because i just don't I'm finding that I really, really don't like that look of filled in strong brows. I think it makes you just look, it makes your face look harsher. So keeping them less filled in just makes your face look a lot softer. That's what I'm going for. Okay, let's get into the eyes, you guys. So if you are looking for a new palette to get this summer, I definitely recommend this one from bh cosmetics this is their i believe it's called the sugar cone palette i will list everything for you guys in the description box so i have used this palette so many times every single time i use it i love how the makeup turns out it, there's just something about the tones of these shadows. They're just like the perfect tone. So they're just warm enough. They're, they're just really flattering colors and they blend 
really really well so if you guys are looking for like kind of a goof proof eyeshadow palette that's super affordable has great super easy to use colors definitely get your hands on this this is the only thing i use for the eyes and for application what i did is i started with that medium tone shadow and i applied it all over my lid and up to my brows i also applied it along my lower lash line and then i started to build the shadows using the darker colors just on the outer corner so i started to apply the darker colors on the outer corners to stretch my eye out to make it look a little bit more exotic a little bit more sexy sultry accentuated so just keeping the darker shadows and building them just on the outer corner and then i added a pop of highlight in the inner corner a ton of black mascara this is a must and then i threw on a pair of falsies you definitely don't need the falsies i have not worn false lashes in forever and it felt felt really weird to be honest to wear them i felt like a different person it's been so long and i had to like get used to them not gonna lie so i'm actually trying to find like really great just like natural falsies that i feel more comfortable wearing because these were felt a bit too much but it, it still brought the whole look together so either way make sure you use mascara because that is key okay so since the face is matte i wanted to add a little bit of highlight to the skin and i used my go to this is the iman times catrice lit highlighter palette which is also still available and you guys if you look at the ulta website every now and then they usually do like a sale of all three palettes for like twenty dollars three palettes eyeshadow blush and highlighter for twenty dollars that's an amazing deal so keep an eye out and all right let's move on to the lips because this is literally one of my favorite parts of this look i love how it turned out so first up i'm using this lip liner from laura mercier this is such a gorgeous color and it's the perfect nude because it gives that natural shadow to the outline of your lip so this is a great liner to overline your lips with because it just looks super natural and then it matches with any other nude or like kind of natural lip color i lined all over overlined a bit and then i filled in a bit as well because i didn't really want a different color on my lips i just wanted that really pretty liner color so i filled in my lips a little bit more, mainly like more on the outer corners and working in and then for the center of my lip which this is kind of the key part of this look i use this super nude lipstick from elf cosmetics guys this lip combo is like to die for i absolutely loved how it looked and it just like i don't know it's just like the perfect sexy pouty nude lip guys Yay. this is my bestie sylvia she Woo! just came in as i was filming and i said you have to be in my video <laughs> so i'll be back here you guys for okay so iman's hair tutorial yes sylvia does my hair my yelling <laughs> Sylvia does my hair and she is the best. She's amazing at doing hair. She I is. And that's why she I She has the her best hair, hair, natural. Where are we looking? Where is your camera? Oh, here. Yeah, the camera's in front. <laughs> and are we really recording right now? Yeah, see, look, there's the red light. Oh, wow. What do you want to say to the people? I just want to say how thankful I am to have Iman in my life. Oh, my God. Because she's such a goddess and she just brings so much joy and life and beauty. Love and her. I'm so thankful for her and her energy. See what I mean, guys? Go follow her <laughs> at Sylvia. Wait, I'll put her hand I'm like, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. All right, you guys. Now we're going to go have some fun tonight. Woo! 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 Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I know that this look was like really simple, but I just kind of wanted to get back in the game and to talk to you guys and hang out. And that's it. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you're new. Add me on Instagram at Iman and on TikTok at Iman Makeup. And I will see you guys in a bunch of new videos very soon. Love you.